Hello everyone, welcome to DCC and IT Agartala. This is Tejas and I am a second year electrical engineering undergrad. And today we will be looking at the problem puzzles. Okay, so let's read the problem statement first. The problem statement states, the end of the school year is near and Mrs. Manana, the teacher will soon have to say goodbye to a yet another class. She decided to prepare a goodbye present for her N students and give each of them a jigsaw puzzle. The shop assistant told the teacher that there are M puzzles in the shop, but they might differ in difficulty and size. Specifically, the first jigsaw puzzle consists of F1 pieces, the second one consists of F2 pieces and so on. Okay. Mrs. Manana doesn't want to upset the children, so she decided that the difference between the number of pieces in her presents must be as small as possible. Let A be the number of pieces in the largest puzzle that the teacher buys, B be the number of pieces in the smallest puzzle she buys. She wants to choose N such puzzles that A minus B is as minimum as possible. Okay. So what we have in this question, we are given N and N, N and M, sorry. M is the number of pieces that are available in the shop number of puzzles that are available in the shop and n are the number of students in the class. Now suppose we have m equals to 6 and n equals to 3. So we have 6, uh, we have options for 6 puzzles we can and we need to choose 3 puzzles out of any 3 puzzles out of those uh, 6 puzzles such that the difference between the uh, maximum difficulty the difference between the maximum difficulty of the puzzles out of these three puzzles and the minimum difficulty is as minimum as possible. So the first approach will, would be that uh, we can try out all the combinations of size n. That is, we can try out all the uh, we can try out all the combinations of three puzzles, and we can see which combination has the minimum difference uh, between the maximum difficulty and minimum dif difficulty. But this uh, approach would not be efficient. So you know A is our, we have A as our maximum difficulty and B is our minimum difficulty. So we need to, uh, min we want to minimize this A minus B. Now if we set B, suppose our uh, B that is the minimum difficulty we have fixed this, B we have fixed. Now if I want to uh, minimize A minus B, uh, I would have to minimize this A as much as I can. If the A is small, then uh, this A minus B is going to be minimized. So now suppose, let me read this first. <coughs> now suppose the puzzles that we have, let us denote this by P, the puzzles that we have. The difficulties of the puzzles that will be given in the input. Suppose uh, we have 4, 5, 2, 9, 12 and one more. Uh, let's say, okay, let's say 13. So we'll be fixing the B, that is the minimum, the minimum difficulty of the combination. We'll be fixing it and we'll vary the A. And we'll see in which case we get the minimum possible difference. Okay, so first of all, I'll set B equals to 4. So if I set uh, B equals, to, sorry, I'll set B equals to 2. So if I set B equals to 2, uh, I'll have to choose 3 puzzles. B is already the minimum, B is the puzzle, sorry, the minimum difficulty of this puzzle would be 2. We have already set this and for N equals to 3, we need to choose 3 puzzles. Now, We need to maximize our A. A is the maximum uh, maximum difficulty. This would be our A. So if we look at this array, can I choose 4 as our A here? 4 as the maximum difficulty? No, we cannot choose because if I write 4 here or if I choose 4 as the puzzle with maximum difficulty in my combination, I would need one more uh, puzzle such that its difficulty is less than 4, uh, less than equals to 4 or more than equals to 2. But we don't have any such uh, puzzle here. Now, next, can I choose 5? 
yes i can choose 5 if i choose 5 then i can write 4 here and what will be the difference what will be a minus b here a minus b in this case would be 3 so we are just concerned about this a and this b sorry a and uh, this b now let me have this first so, now can i choose 9 yes i can choose 9 if i choose 9 as my a or the maximum difficulty i can have 4 or 5 here but what would be the difference uh, in the previous case we chose 5 and we had the difference 3 if we, if i choose 9 <coughs> the difference would be 7 and 7 is uh, greater than 3 so we don't want this case we already have the minimum difference in in the case when 2 is the minimum number so we'll not move ahead with this we already have our minimum difference it will be 5 minus 2 equals to 3 if i choose 12 the difference will be 10 and so on for 13 also now let's see another case now we know for b equals to 2 we have minimum difference that is min our min was 3 now now we'll uh, now we'll check for b equals to 4 now for uh, b equals to 4 we'll need to choose three elements again because n equals to 3 the 4 would be the minimum I'm all, uh, 4 would be 4 is our minimum element minimum element by minimum element i mean element with minimum difficulty <coughs> now can i choose five can i uh, can i have any combination out of these uh, m m difficulties such that five is the maximum and four is the minimum no we can't have because then we need one number which is less than five less than equals to five and more than equals to four and we don't have any such number so we cannot choose five can we choose nine yes we can choose 9 and here the minimum would be then 5 again i can choose 12 but the difference then it will be 8 which is again more than 5 so we don't want that case so <clears throat> now for b equals to 4 we have minimum equals to 5 and so on we can check for <coughs> We did 2 and 4, we can check for 5, 9, but can we uh, check, uh, can we make any combination in which 12 and 13 are the minimum elements? No, we can't, because suppose if I have 12 as my minimum element, then I, we don't have two numbers that are bigger than 12 in this array or in, uh, in these difficulties, we don't have any two puzzles that have difficulty more than 12. So 12 and 13, we cannot <coughs> make any combinations where 12 and 13 are the minimum difficulty. Now, what if I, the now the intuition that, uh, the right intuition is to sort, sort this array first. So if I sort this array, then I'll get 2, sorry, let me write this in. It will be 2, then 4, 5, then I'll have 9, then I'll have 12, then I'll have 13. So what we can clearly observe from this is that, let, let me write this. What we can clearly observe is that in case when 2 is the minimum, we can have the minimum difference when we choose these 3 elements for n equals to 3. In case when 4 is minimum, we can have the minimum difference between the maximum and minimum element when we choose these three elements. For 5, these three elements. And at the end, for 9, these three elements. So, <coughs> here, if we, uh, if we follow 0 based indexing, this is 0. Uh, the index of 2 is 0. This is 1. This is 2. This is 3. This is 4. This is 5. So we are getting minimum, uh, let's suppose uh, 2 for example, this is i, 
i equals to these are the indexes okay so minimum difference in each case we are getting as uh, as the difference between the i plus n minus 1th element and the ith element the difference of n plus uh, n sorry i plus n minus 1th element and the ith element when the array is sorted so in our solution what we are going to do is that we have taken the inputs already first of all i'll be sorting our difficulty array or the array using corrections framework then i'll have a uh, variable and i'll initialize with error of n minus 1 and error of 0 that is the maximum possible difference guys come on now i'll run a loop from int i equals to 0 till i plus n minus 1 is less than m and i plus plus why i am doing this i plus n minus 1 is less than m that is because uh, i plus n minus 1 in this case we have n equals to 3 so i plus n minus 1 would be 2 so i want the loop to run till this point because i know uh, i cannot choose any combination such that 12 will be the minimum element so i don't want the loop uh, to run till 12 i don't want i to run till 4 in this case so when i equals to 4 i'll get i plus n minus 1 as 6 and 6 is the 6 is equals to m so the loop will not run uh, run because the loop is you know the loop will run only for values which are uh, for i plus n minus 1 less than 6 but in this case i plus n minus 1 was equals to 6 so we'll have we'll update our answer uh, each time answer equals to math dot min of answer and arr of i plus n minus 1 and arr of i and then i'll print my answer I think we are good to go. Let's see. Yes, guys, it's accepted. Uh, you can look at the code once again. This is the code. We first sort the array, and then we keep updating our answer variable each time. 